Hello everyone. At last my end of trip video from my bike ride from Cyprus to Scotland. On this occasion it took four and a half months. The two previous occasions I've done it, it's been around about three months. I have many videos of um, my experiences from the last four and a half months, so you can have a look on YouTube if, um, if you feel the need. The miles were 3,600. Um, it's always round about the same number of miles, regardless of the countries that I choose to go through. And uh, without doubt, I've had too many beautiful moments. And uh, thank you to everyone who's contributed to this and helped me along my way. As always, the love, warmth and compassion experienced in every country from so many people has just been incredible. So lots of beautiful moments. I'd like to read this quote. Life becomes more meaningful when you realise the fact you're never going to get the same moment twice. But also lots of uh, WTF moments. And it's not what you're thinking. It's water, toilet, and food moments. Because on a bike adventure, a lot of the trip is made up from looking for somewhere to go to the loo, looking for water, water, toilet, and food. It goes without saying. At this moment, I'm in a walk-in wardrobe in a flat in Aberdeen. But prior to finish a trip, I'd spent nine of the previous 13 months sleeping outside, looking for water, toilets, and food. It's very surreal being in a house. Um, in this house I get up and the toilet's already here. I walk into the kitchen and flick a switch on the kettle which is already full of water. I have a hob to cook my breakfast. The washing machine cleans my clothes with another push of a button. I've got Wi-Fi. I've got access to a hot shower which I never use. Access to heating which I never put on. In mainstream living, with all these time and personal energy saving devices, why does everyone appear so stressed out and tired? What with 20 years of ME, 7 years of C. diff and 3 years recovering from triple malaria, I've spent over 30 years of my adulthood dealing with and overcoming illness. But within these years, I've always tried to squeeze out as many beautiful moments as possible. So whatever you're going through, keep going and look forward to those moments. Depending on my terrain, I can often go days or even weeks not washing myself or my clothes. But when I get access to facilities, it takes me about 90 minutes to wash myself and spruce my bike and my clothes up. However, how long does it take to clean your soul if you're not living a life that speaks to you wholeheartedly. I'll read that again. How long does it take to clean your soul if you're not living a life that speaks to you wholeheartedly? A couple more quotes that I really like. Is freedom anything else than the right to live as we wish? Nothing else. And this is slowly, bit by bit, being taken away. Remember, the minute you settle for less than you deserve, you get less than you settled for. That was apparently by a woman called Maureen Down. Anyway, I hope this has made a, a wee bit of sense. And uh, as always, uh, much love, a big hug, and uh, look forward to your next beautiful moment. Bye now.